Morning, everybody. Um, day 11. Hope it's all doing well. Hope everything's going well in your life. Hope it's all getting ready for Christmas. How many people have had this? What, what's going on? Why people put Christmas trees up and Christmas stuff, man? It's November, man. Can't think that way out of December, man. Seems to go on some foreign countries. Small countries. <laughs> Anyway, I want to get cracking on the first set. Anybody that watches this channel, if you are, if you're still watching it, thank you very much. Well, I hate the first set. I hate this. So I'll just get it over and done with. So, still no idea what's going on with the pedestrian tunnel. If anybody's interested, um, getting the ferry every morning. Um, ones that are getting a bit cold, I mind. But I'm still doing well with the weather. By the look of it, still not too bad. Um, bike's going well, bike itself seems to be fine, I'm going to try and get it clean and, uh, and not idle enough, but the 500k mark, <sighs> technically for a bike that was free, um, I was thinking that when I get to the end I might just give it away, don't know yet, but I think I might give it away if somebody wants to get into cycling, triathlon, or any cycling sport. Um, I don't think about giving it away to somebody that wants to get into it. Maybe somebody hasn't got a bit, a bit short on cash, they like a bike, but for whatever reason can't afford one. Or oh, just, just, yeah, if I can help somebody, I'd love to do that. Like, I never thought. Um, but yeah, knees are alright. This knee's a bit better now. I, I don't know if you've noticed if it because I've been watching days. Normally I get right down the last couple and try to get right down. Every time I seem to do that, knee seems to hurt more at work, so I'm just not gonna do that at all. I've gone out 40 days for the survival this these knees. But I've got the rest of my life to survive with these things. But I'm going to have 40 days to survive, so I have to just be gentle on them. Um, pain wise, aching. Every, every muscle, bone is aching. To the point where I have to take painkillers to go to bed.
Yeah, but uh, strangely enough, the shoulder is getting better than what it was. When I was practicing doing the uh, press ups, I used to be able to do normal press ups, no problem. But then it's, I felt a twinging. So I, I kept on doing it, thinking I, I'd get used to it type of thing, but obviously not. Um, that's why I bought out this contraption. I don't know if anybody else has got one. I really enjoy it actually. Um, because I remember I used to do these for years. Before I used to do Iron Man and stuff like that. So what I used to do was in the winter seasons when I didn't used to go out on the bike and run as much, which I do now and anyway. I used to just try and do some weights, press ups and stuff like that. Um, and I bought this off of one of those sites. Um, so that's why I bought it out and I found that position there where we all there didn't hurt my shoulder as much. So as time has gone on, these last 500 press ups, it seems to have got better. So happy days. I was expecting it to get worse. The only wrong is there's little times that work when I'm, when, when I'm moving and doing stuff. I'm a mechanic, so I work at heights sometimes, well, I have cars at heights, and sometimes stuff, stuff I'm trying to move into place that's twinging, but in general it's getting better. So, quite happy with that. My legs aren't old, they're absolutely knackered. I've got no other way for it than that, knackered. Right. So, let's get that. One good thing, oh yesterday, stopped yawning, didn't yawn yesterday, didn't yawn today. So I'm guessing going to bed a little bit earlier. I'm going to bed at 8 o'clock now. Eating, I haven't looked up loads, I just, I'm having a bit of a bigger breakfast now when I leave before the bike. It does not, I was a little bit sick. The first, probably five, six miles, and my stomach's quite full. But I feel like that's helping us. So I don't feel hungry halfway through the ride. So I'd rather feel a little bit sickly for the first five miles or 10k than feel really hungry towards the end of the ride where I felt like I was just zapping. It was just zapping the energy. So then I was getting to work, trying to have something to eat. And it was taking us like an hour or two to feel a bit better. This race feels better. Feeling a bit sick at the beginning and then feeling more okay. Um, luckily I'm one of them people who like eat lots of solid foods. I know there's lots of people out there that I've spoken to. Can't eat before the run, can't eat before stuff. And luckily I can. Um, so I'm using that to my advantage. Right, set up four.
Well, it was going to go in there. I may be feeling better, but these still hurt. Press ups not hurting as much. But still, I'm just not a person that squats at all. I never was, even when I used to go to the gym during my 20s. I was never good at squatting. I should have picked deadlifting. I'm a bit better at that. But here we are. This is it. We're doing it. And then I get out here. Where have I been? I don't know. So anyway, it's day 11, if you've been watching this on my YouTube channel and you've watched every day, thank you so much, thank you for the support, and I'm starting to grow my own little YouTube channel, I don't intend to be a YouTuber or anything like that, I just, all my friends have just said, all the stuff they do, why don't you document it, why don't you put it down somewhere in the, the I thought, at first I was like, nah, but I thought, why not, like, if I can, I don't know, you might look at it and think, what's that stupid old fool doing, although, on the other hand, you might, I might get people my age, in the 50s, early 50s, thinking, well, if he can do it, I can do it, and they're the people I want to get to, they're the people I, I want to inspire, somebody that's in the 50s, who's got an knee injury, got a hip injury, got a shoulder hurting and who just still want to just do something because you can it doesn't matter what doesn't matter what part of your body's injured obviously there's extremes to that but in just general the general wear and tear of a 50 year old body you can still do stuff luckily we have good um tablets these days as well for pain color so that really helps right I personally use that in flaring, 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 <laughs> the cold, they seem to really help. I take two of them before I go to sleep at night time and I wake up brand new. Right, that's it. And then we'll uh, get ready, get on the bike. And I've remembered to watch today. <sighs> Should not to turn off. Thank you. Bit late. I'm gonna crack on. Right. Thank you. See you, man.